Sherry, when you look at the stimulus that has already been placed into the system, how significant is this move? It's an incremental policy step, right? It's more targeted as well. What's really interesting now is that Bloomberg has learned that banks are ready to announce these cuts of rates on existing mortgages and deposits. Let's start with existing mortgages. Why is this interesting? Remember last week when commercial banks lowered the loan prime rate on the one-year lending rate? That was not a lot. Those are for business loans, but for the five-year, which affects mortgages, they didn't move and left it at 4.2%. We're thinking maybe they want to safeguard the banking stability. Well, these are more targeted measures. These are on existing mortgages right now because even though they've cut benchmark rates and, okay, the mortgage cost has been reduced to a record low, that hasn't necessarily benefited these Chinese households because uh, their existing loans don't get repriced until the beginning of next year. So JP Morgan's estimates now put, okay, mortgages right now on new loans stand at 4 0.18%, but that's 60 basis points lower than the outstanding borrowing. So we've had this rush of people trying to prepay their existing mortgages, even taking out short-term loans in order to do so. So that's the impact when it comes to the housing market of these cuts. What are we expecting to see when it comes to the impact on banks specifically? It's not going to be too helpful for them. Perhaps it's going to help in economic stability and people being able to repay those loans. But when it comes to the banks, it will hurt them from their net interest incomes to their margins and profits. So right now, the estimate from JP Morgan is say the entire mortgage loan book gets refinanced 60 basis points lower. Earnings at Chinese banks will be cut by 8%. Net interest margins also will narrow by 7 basis points. The expectation is not everyone will refinance their loans, but about 50% perhaps. And we have seen already the earnings from China Construction Bank, Ag Bank, China Merchant Bank, all posting weaker year-on-year -year net interest margins, despite the fact that they had higher profits. Bring us cross-asset as well, because you did see some strengthening of the yuan. So what else does this mean, especially as we look forward to potentially more economic data and more moves? out of Beijing. Are we going to see more confidence in the markets is a key question, right? Because we have seen all of these moves by Beijing to shore up sentiment in the financial markets, even cutting the stamp duty for the first time since 2008. But uh, those moves were really not sustained. We saw rallies and then they fizzled. Today, the yuan is slightly stronger. We have seen now the Golden Dragon Index trading at the best uh, day in about a month or so. So maybe we will see a little bit more confidence but the fact remains that economies keep downgrading the growth forecast for China. So we are now lower by the latest Bloomberg estimate at around 5.1% growth for this year. And that was cut from 5.2%, which gets us closer to Beijing's goal of about 5%.